obscure moments in Olympic history. 1972, Cimarron, New Mexico. Once a thriving hotspot along the infamous Santa Fe Trail, now having been reduced to just a small town struggling to find its identity among the modern era of frisbees, yo-yos, and striped tube socks. A town hall meeting was held and it was decided that Cimarron, New Mexico would send a representative to the Summer Olympics. Their sport of choice? Badminton. What were they thinking? I'm sure you're asking yourself. In the early 70s, badminton? Didn't they know that they would have to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the great African teams from Senegal and the Gambia? Oh, they knew. And it wasn't easy, but they met the challenge. So there they found themselves in the gold medal match against four-time reigning champs from Sweden, led by their team captain, Bjorn Slaughterbarkfest, who made an unfortunate mistake when he stumbled at game point. Diving, he carelessly flipped the birdie up, and anxiously awaiting on the other side of the net was the team captain from Cimarron, Skeet Gomez, who graciously and effectively flipped the birdie down. It was a rousing victory for this small ragtag group of Davids who laid waste to all the Olympic Goliaths, leaving them strewn about their path. And in keeping with the great tradition of sports championship victories, there was much rioting in the streets of Cimarron. There was much looting of the village, which was shortly followed thereafter by a victory parade. Now this was a victory parade to rival all other victory parades ever seen in the town of Cimarron, New Mexico. Well, the Cimarron team received quite the hero's welcome. The parade started at one end of the town and came all the way over to here, to this edge of town, where they had a grandstand set up. And so the entire ceremony was presided over by then governor of the town, Maxwell Grant, a man so large in stature, it could only be matched by his own heart. But a man so large, they say only the land itself was bigger, which of course is why it earned him the nickname Lando. So here they were set up on the edge of town for not only the victory speech, but the great unveiling of the statue to commemorate the event, the Great Birdie. Led by Governor Maxwell Lando Grant, the Cimarron High School marching band, and every single citizen from all four corners of Colfax County and beyond had come out to welcome them home. So there, the captain of the American team stepped up to the podium, Skeet Gomez, and he said, today we have victory, not just for me or for you, but all together we are one. For you see, English was not his first language. Then he fixed his gaze over the crowd, and there was a hush. And he said these words. Our volleys were mighty, and our serves were sure. But alas, Cimarron, New Mexico will be obscure no more. And there was a rousing hurrah. The townspeople went absolutely bananas. The rest of his team charged the grandstand. They lifted him up on their shoulders, and they carried him off to the St. James Hotel to celebrate, where he was never heard from again. And that, my friends, is one of the many reasons why Cimarron, New Mexico is so great. So Skeet Gomez and the rest of the 1972 Cimarron, New Mexico Olympic badminton champions, thank you for keeping it real. Welcome to Philmont.